Since its inception as the Richmond Male Orphan Society in 1846, the Virginia Home for Boys and Girls has evolved to be one of the preeminent human service providers in Central Virginia. Thanks to the dedicated people who have served and the support received from public and private partnerships. In the beginning, the orphan boys of the society stayed in a facility between Union and Churchill on the edge of Henrico County. The boys were given room, board, and a sense of fellowship and camaraderie as they created lasting friendships. Despite the needs of the community, the society found it difficult to operate without private financial assistance. After five years in operation, 60 people each contributed $100, plus the Female Humane Association donated $1,000 to provide the financial stability the organization needed. In 1851, the society moved to the corner of James and Baker Streets, and over the next 20 years would house nearly 300 boys, many of whom would fight in the Civil War. In 1870, there was yet another move, this time to the Harvey neighborhood near today's Maymont Park. The new location offered a main building and five federal barracks vacated from the war. And in 1871, the first major legacy gift was received from one of Richmond's wealthiest citizens in the amount of $50,000. This and other gifts led to newer buildings gardens and recreation areas that would be enjoyed by the boys for many years. By 1929, the property had fallen into disrepair and a major update was in order. Through much hard work, the grounds were beautified. Fresh gardens were established to supply fresh vegetables and four cows on the property provided milk to the home as it was affectionately known. In 1933, the name of the organization changed to the Richmond Home for Boys, a place not just for orphaned young boys, but for those from broken families as well. The 1930s also saw the establishment of various sports programs where the boys thrived and won many awards. Other organizations, committees, and boards also worked with the home. The organizations included the Optimist Club of Richmond, the Women's Auxiliary, and the Boy Scouts. All were involved to share friendship, mentorship, and provide lasting financial support. During World War II, over 95 boys served our country, many of whom became officers. In 1957, VHBG moved to our current location just off of West Broad Street. And in the mid-1970s, established a school to assist students that were not receiving adequate attention in the public school system. In 1975, the name changed to the Virginia Home for Boys to reflect the geographical impact of VHBG's services. Just three years later, the Youth Emergency Shelter opened to serve adolescents needing more immediate crisis care. In 1998, the Teaching Family Model of Care was adopted as the treatment modality in teaching family homes. In 2003, certification by the National Teaching Family Association was achieved, and one year later the name was changed to Virginia Home for Boys and Girls, in 2013, VHBG added elementary classrooms, outpatient services, intensive in-home, home-based counseling, and intensive care coordination, all to respond to the community's growing needs. Virginia Home for Boys and Girls has a long and strong legacy. In 1846 and today, VHBG's mission is to restore hope through teaching and healing to help ensure the children and families of Virginia thrive. <music>